<laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, everyone above, below, or in between, welcome back, and today we are going to be talking about Star Wars, but first, let's show you a quick little sequence. All right, <laughs> all right, folks. That was a nice little sequence to uh, explain. Uh, that's basically a closing uh, to Hitomi's character from Dead or Life Five, uh, Dead or Life Four. And if you knew nothing about the character, that little sequence told you practically so much information that uh, if you didn't know anything about Hitomi. Uh, or if you didn't know anything about Dead or Alive, uh, that, that one 60 second little sequence told you just about everything you could possibly want to know. Um, something that we didn't get with our Star Wars Episode 7. Yeah. Right now, uh, people have been talking about the Mary Sue issue. And if you want to know what that first screen reads, it says. This one's done by Bandit Incorporated. Is Mary Sue, is Ray really a Mary Sue? And pretty much, uh, here's all the checklist. Uh, number one is, are they perfect and flawless for Ray's character in Star Wars 7? Yes. Outperforms established characters with little, with little explanation? Check more on that. Yes. Unrealistic abilities not supported by a solid backstory? Again, check, check mark on that one. Yeah, that's a, that's a sign of bad writing, folks. Back to the next one, the one in the middle, which is uh, Pawn Story Games. Pawn Story Games. And the title of that one is The Force Awakens is the worst movie of all time. And he spends an entire one hour and six minutes breaking apart uh, the whole thing. Plot point by plot point, scene by scene some in some cases, character by character and uh, confusion by confusion and then the other box we have just a list of everything of all the things that type that comes up when you go to YouTube and type into the search bar Star Wars Mary Sue and you'll just get nothing but episode 7 so with that out of the way uh, let's get into it uh, I did some digging around on uh, on the Wikipedia just to find out how Star Wars 7 got to be such a terrible, terrible show. And realistically, folks, um, I don't think uh, the little section uh, that was given to us on the writing uh, detail gives us the full story. And uh, there are warning signs, uh, and there's other evidence. If you watch the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you're keep up to date with current events that's been going on in our entertainment world, you'll, you'll know what's going on. Like, here's a good warning sign for you. The Expanded Universe. Why on earth would anybody retcon any of this? Seriously. You got a bounty of characters, you got a bounty of stories. Somebody mentioned, oh, uh, you know, they would have to spend, uh, give royalties to somebody. Uh, are you kidding me? Why would that be a big problem? It's Disney. They can spend a couple of bucks. Like, even right here, the, the New Republic, nah. The villains are another thing that they punked, uh, or rather both the organizations. Because if you saw episode 6, you'd know that, yeah, uh, Rebellion won, so now the Rebellion would be... Uh, an alliance uh, of some form, and uh, the Empire, they would be 
uh, terrorists. You know what I mean? So, how the hell they missed that, I don't know. But that's one of those one of those strange little things. Again, uh, the criminal element, the criminal element in the uh, in the expanded universe that was very well defined, uh, and they complicated the world. They made things a heck of a lot more interesting. They explained a whole lot more things about this uh, about this wonderful world. They just got rid of all that. Uh, here's some more expanded universe, like Star Wars: Dark Empire. You got a, you know Luke Skywalker going rogue. Ooh ah, wouldn't that have been an interesting plot twist? They got several others, like in one story, uh, Luke dies. Uh, that was pretty good. But uh, yeah, the reason why you have to take away uh, all that stuff is because of uh, one real, one real, one blazing in-your-face problem that we've noticed with uh, Disney right now. Here's your comics, and we got Thor turned into a woman, Spider-Woman going out prego, Iron Man, uh, they keep the title, but they're like, nah, we're still going to make him a chick. Miss Marvel, instead of being blonde hair and blue-eyed, we're just going to make her uh, have uh, different ethnic origins. And not too big of a deal, except for I, I very much like the fact that Carol Danvers was a uh, was an Air Force pilot. This one's just a high school student. Yeah, he, he, and uh, let me see, Captain America. Yeah, he can't be Steve Rogers. He's got to be this other guy. Granted, it's for a limited time only, but we'll get into that later. Yeah, why did they? Why did? And this, this is the Ghostbusters, and of course it had nothing to do with Disney. This has nothing to do with Disney. This is about the, uh, the SJWs and the, the radical feminists. What happens when you put them into the entertainment world? Uh, quite often what they do is they... Uh, since they can't create anything themselves, uh, they, they keep wanting to take somebody else's work, insert themselves into it, and uh, just ruin the party for everyone. So to speak, and they want to even spoil the memories. Because if you remember episode seven, uh, they they went back and they rehashed all the good scenes from the originals, with a few exceptions. Uh, here's a picture of Han Solo and Leia. I don't know if you can see it, but this is from Return of the Jedi. Yeah, you'll see uh, Leia in her slave outfit, and all this other stuff. Yep, that's from uh, Empire Strikes Back, right there, where. They, they, their relationship really blossomed. So Han Solo gets put on ice. Damn near gets killed for uh, for this uh, for the, for this chick's cause. Okay. He gets put on ice. Damn near gets killed. Does he bail out after she comes to his rescue? No, he doesn't. He sticks around for the full fight, the final fight. She got captured and. But it was Jabba Hutt's little fluff girl for a bit. And she still didn't uh, bail out on the relationship. So why on earth would they be se divorced uh, or separated or whatever in this episode 7? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, did I forget to mention spoilers? Don't care. Nope. So we have to make sure Mommy and Daddy are divorced. And we have to make sure that the lead character is a Mary Sue. Which, you know, you could still probably get away with Ray as she is. If, uh, yeah, like right here from The Force Unleashed. It looks like they put, they gave her the abilities of both these characters. You know what I mean? Star Killer and uh, Juno Eclipse. That, I mean, straight up, yeah, that would very much explain all of her abilities real quick right there. But, you know, social justice being social justice, they don't know what they're doing. Like uh, the Simpsons episode here with Leah Dunham. Marge and Homer legally separate. Yeah, that's that's how silly social justice warriors get. That's about as far into that nonsense as I'm going to get. But let's let's get back to let's get back to what I was talking about earlier. So anyway, yeah, I did some digging around the Wikipedia. According to them, the movie had three writers. Ah. Uh, and that makes sense because it took three years to make the movie uh, from the time they announced it, which was 2012, and the thing was released 2015. Uh, there's a lot of 
strange stuff on the uh, the Wikipedia. They said, oh, the original writer couldn't make it, couldn't make the story out in time, so they quickly hired uh, Cassadan. And uh, between Cassadan and the director, uh, they they came out with a script in uh, six weeks. Which, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of uh, writing, you'll know that uh, in screenplays it takes like a minute per page, and um, uh, I, you know, like take for example comic books. To get a comic book out, that's 90 pages, but it only takes you 30 minutes to read. So in screenwriting, it would be like 30 pages. To get that, it takes a month. You know, um, so I, you know, not not. So I mean, you could. I I I don't want to say anything, but I think we all know that Disney basically uh, took uh, three three scripts and uh, they filmed three scripts that's my guess and uh, once it got back to the editing room uh, they put together whatever story that they wanted to and essentially this what we got was this Mary Sue story and straight up I mean um, Finn's character I don't know why they punked his ass the entire time it made no sense uh, matter of fact, you could have used him to fix the uh, the Mary Sue issue. Like maybe, uh, yeah, there maybe have the, maybe have him on Tatooine, and maybe he's fighting a, in a in a fit, pit fighter or in a gladiator style pit fighter kind of thing. And he and of course he was a, an Imperial trooper, but you know, like a pilot, and maybe that's how Ray knows how to fly. Because you know she goes out and salvages stuff, and you could just have a scene where she fixes a. Uh, a flight simulator and she has information on how to use it through that stormtrooper you know what I mean so you could have had uh, a chick that wants to get off that pot planet and a stormtrooper uh, that was a that's also a pilot that that's fighting as a gladiator and he's pretty much a slave and they're just fig trying to figure out a way to make their big break and get their escape so it's between Ray's learning abilities and uh, and what limited resources they got. You know, why wouldn't he just have her fix the radio? Uh, he doesn't want to go back to the Empire because they're terrorists at this point in time. Like I said, if you watched episode 6, the Rebellion ones, the Rebellion is now the new good guys, the, the Alliance or whatever in the Empire, they've been labeled as terrorists. You know what I mean? It wouldn't take much to explain any of that. Uh, as far as Ray's force abilities, uh, you could probably have her uh, with, uh, situated with a grave uh, of her master. You know, again, it's very, very simple, very, very easy. You probably could have done it with an insert shot. Like I said, like I just showed you with Dead or Alive, uh, in 60 seconds you can give people every, uh, every bit of information that somebody would need. Uh, about a character. You could do that with 60 seconds. Why they couldn't do this with Star Wars, I couldn't. It makes no sense to me. And it's Disney. So, I suspect he went in there with an agenda to take the whole thing thing apart. Or they handed it to uh, a completely different department. Because it really doesn't make any sense. And again, uh, the most hated company got the rights to the video games and that was EA folks so I'm just saying we all had some warning signs we're staring at them and it just makes zero sense and we all know that the feminist agenda is anything that men enjoy we have to destroy it and wreck it they don't understand that everybody enjoys uh, these products it's not just men but anyway that's just me that's just the Fox Gibson uh, Next episode, I might just come up with an entire alternate storyline for Star Wars Episode 7. And I think that's going to be a new trending thing on, uh, on YouTube, just to take all the failed Star Wars movies and make them, their own, make them your own. Thankfully, we have video games and video game tech, so we might be able to make up our own Star Wars video games and make our own movies there. Anyway, this is going to be the Fox Gibson signing out. Good luck to all. Peace out.